Alrighty, boys and girls. Just came out from a ride, and man, it's cold. It's not freezing cold, but it's cold. So I had, what I have? I had, uh, oh God, sorry. I had uh, a sweater, North Face sweater, and uh, a workout hoodie. And um, I was cold. I wasn't freezing, but I was cold. That wind goes right through you. My legs are fine. I had only sweatpants, but my chest, I worry about mostly about my chest because, man, when that wind goes through you, it is freezing. Like, when you stop, it's okay, but when you ride, it's just, just freezing. So, I've noticed with this battery, it charges fully, and uh, this is a 33 amp battery, 48 volt, and unfortunately, it really slows down after what the fuck? after it slows down after 10 miles all right uh, sorry i wasn't sure what to do my wife came butt naked with a thong or whatever i think was g-string black g-string outfit and i wasn't sure if i uh, <clears throat> should continue recording or uh, do the business <clears throat> anyway clean my throat so yeah, after 10 miles, the bike slows down. So it goes, uh, you know, 38 miles an hour comfortably. That's uh, 54.8 volts. And then dry it more. It doesn't drastically slow down, but gradually it slows down and it goes into uh, slow mode when i say slow mode about 20 miles an hour which yeah you know kind of sucks but was it ever like that when i had a connected parallel it actually it felt better but i don't know i never i was never very accurate in my miles because i had i had a destination i would go to the park i would go off a little bit and i would come back and that wouldn't be too far from here. Today, I went around my neighborhood and uh, by the mall, which was pretty far, came around, literally got on highway for two exits, and then I got off my exit. Um, in total, so my application says, it was 10 miles. So, wasn't great, you know, nothing, nothing wonderful to expect. Um, but I believe so. The goal is to sell the forty-eight volt, thirty-three amp battery that I put it together um, for a couple hundred hours. And I know that this this battery on a fifty, uh, sorry, fifty, forty-eight volt system would be awesome. You know, like those guys uh, <clears throat> for deliveries. But I don't know if anybody is willing to pay, you know, 300 hours for, for a battery. You know what I mean? I'm not sure. Um, but 48 volt system on a light bike, like the one that I had before. I mean, I literally, with one battery, I was able to do like literally 24 miles in range because the bike was so light. And, uh, and I still still had the second battery left, which was the 13 amp battery. <clears throat> so in, in 20 amp battery, I would do 24 miles, and then I would have the 13 amp battery left. So literally, I would do on that 20 amp, I would do 14 miles, which um, didn't involve a lot of uh, pedaling. If if when I used to go to uh, this one place. A friend of my house I used to uh, I used to pedal a lot so the wrench wasn't really a problem over this <clears throat> <clears throat> so anyway so I did good today um, took a different route I uh, was very happy you know I again I wish I had the 72 volt 50 amp hour battery soon it is gonna happen hook it up don't know how hard it's going to be to get it into the frame, but 
the measurements are 340, 345 milliliters, milliliters, millimeters by 220 by 137, I believe. So that's under, that's about, I'm oh, sorry, 107, 115. That's like three inches thickness. 30, 345, it's about 14 inches. So it's 40 inches by three by nine. So nine is the height. So it should go right inside the frame. And the beautiful thing is it's still 72 volt. It is actually 50 amp hour. So I'm expecting great results from it. Um, you know, 50, 50 amp uh, continuous discharge at 100 amp um, peak discharge. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping for the best. Um, I know I'll be happy with the distance. That's a fact. Um, if I can do, how, I don't know guys, comment down below, how far you think I can go if I weigh 255 pounds, the bike is going to be about 150 at a speed probably of 40 miles an hour. How far can I travel with that? I'll do the wrench test on that battery um, <clears throat> after a couple of charges. Because going to a gym is not a problem. Um, going around over here to, to off road and to the mall and things like that is not a problem. Now going down to Brooklyn or down all the way to a ferry, it's not gonna be a problem with 50 amp. Um, and of course, we still gonna have in the summer the spare battery. Definitely buying the 35 amp battery again with a 50 amp discharge and a hundred peak. So I'm gonna get my get my wrench regardless how I look at it. But um, comment down below. What do you think I uh, would get out of this 50 amp hour battery at 72 volt? Some serious serious torque. 50 by 72 is about 3,600 watts. Right now I'm pushing 2,000 and I'm traveling, how am I traveling? About 35 miles an hour. It's a big bike. So that was that. And uh, so literally I just ordered the battery um, a few hours ago. So it's not like I'm getting it tomorrow. But uh, in regards in regards to the construction of the bike, <clears throat> and I'm whispering because it is one o'clock in the morning, my wife is going to sleep, you know, and all that. But in regards to the construction of the bike, um, it it feels really really strong. It doesn't make any noise. Doesn't uh, squeak. The the the, the, the the brakes are excellent. I, I actually can ride it without hands. One thing that pisses me off, or well, doesn't piss me off, but it makes a hardship for me, is the thumb throttle. Originally, I had it this high. I brought it all the way down here to uh, just see if I can work something out with my pain of thumb and my hand going off sleep. Hold on a second. So the th the throttle, the thumb throttle was uh, or is still giving me a uh, a, uh, a pain in my thumb. It kind of like this this part goes to goes numb and it hurts. Kind of kind of awkward. But um, other than that, I'm I'm actually thinking rather than pushing it down, thinking of having a throttle that you just push this way. I think it will be so much easier. I might actually get. On the internet today and get it so it's, when you hold it right with my throttle i gotta go down now with the other throttle just push it in and you just keep it like that all right well, that sounds good all right maybe i'll uh i'll get that thumb throttle you know instead of going down push it in so this is the movement let's go this way um so yeah, you know, the, the, the thumb hurts a little bit, it goes to sleep, it hurts me on the forearm, 
also this is my left hand that was injured maybe i'll put it on the right hand and was it wouldn't be wouldn't injure me so uh, would it hurt me so i don't know anyway so uh if you guys want me to take you out on a right hopefully with a good quality video you will comment down below i kind of have to get a holder for my phone since i move things around uh on my handlebars i really don't like to have to clust don't like to cluster on the handlebar so i like to have a, as least things as i can so i have a light switch and uh excuse me headlights headlight switch and uh on the left hand side um menu operational button for the computer display on the left hand side then in the middle i have the computer display and then on the right i have my uh horn that's it so i should be able to probably squeeze my cell phone all over to the fact that i have to be able to kind of put my phone and kind of follow the gps and things like that because today like i had to take it out of my packet i had to look at it stop and it was kind of awkward but i'm very very um surprised that i was able to get on the highway for two exits and wasn't a problem so hypothetically if i can get on the highway all the way to the bridge if i had enough juice i could actually get over the bridge and nobody would notice oh anyway I'm tired folks very tired guys so i this video just like this on this tune okay battery is purchased another 1100 dollars was like 950 plus tax was like 950 something like that or 930 or whatever it was but uh it was like eight dollars i mean eight dollars eight eight percent on taxes so it was like thousand uh, thirty something like that but uh so that's good news I'm looking into getting some, um, I used to have windbreaker, told my wife, she doesn't know where the hell it is, um, I used to have nice waterproof pants, or windproof pants, and pff, don't know what that is, I gotta look for my gloves, gotta start wearing gloves, and, uh, see, you know, put them on, and I'll see if I can join my right, my head <sighs> right now i'm not wearing a helmet but uh, i know helmet will keep me warm so that might be near future like a helmet you can't see much around left and right um i uh i'm thinking of getting a side handle mirror because I can barely freaking see what's behind me and if I want to switch lanes or do whatever I can't but these these are small things all right let the battery come in and I will probably have to buy for the uh, charge I can do the XT60 or this charge I can actually do XT90 they said it can be certain and this is this charge box and this is not good for 50 50 amps so even if i did the tx90 that's 90 amps of discharge so be still good anyway uh, video too long come out see you later box